Hey guys, today we're on lesson 9.4. We're looking at solve linear systems by multiplying first. So this is task one if you want to follow along. All right, so it says understand the elimination method. In the previous lesson, elimination worked when at least one pair of like terms had the same or opposite coefficient. You can also use elimination to solve systems that have like terms that do not have the same or opposite coefficient. Consider the system defined by the equation ax plus by equals c. Remember that's standard form when x and y is on the same side. All right, they're also going to say dx plus ey equals f, which is the same equation, still in standard form, just written with different variables. All right, so it says a, b, c, d, e, and f are all constants. All right, so it says you can multiply the second equation by a non-zero constant k to get the new equation this. So you can see they just multiplied each part of this equation by k. And it, k is just a non-zero constant, so it's just a number. Okay, so this looks very confusing. I'm going to skip through this part of it because this is just a lot of algebra jargon and show you what it's like to actually look at it with numbers. Okay, so right here we have a system of equations like before, but before we had one or both would eliminate or cancel. Um, and before that, we looked at substitution, and before that, we looked at graphing, okay? So this one says use graphing to identify the solution of a system. So to do that, we have to set these equal to y, put it in slope-intercept form, and then we can graph them very quickly. You could also use your zeros if you're graphing this by hand, your x and y intercepts, so you could substitute zero and quickly find it that way as well. Um, what I'm going to do is just put them in slope intercept um, quickly and see what it looks like on the calculator. So 4x plus 5y equals 12. And if I want to solve this for y, I'm going to subtract 4x. So I'm going to have 5y equals negative 4x plus 12 and divide by 5. When I divide by 5, make sure you divide everything by 5 so your equation is equivalent. Alright, so that's my first equation. And I'm going to do the same thing for the second equation. So I've got 2x plus 3y equals 8. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides, so I'm going to have 3y equals negative 2x plus 8. And then I'm going to divide everything by 3 because I'm trying to get y by itself. So I've got y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 8 thirds. All right, so to solve by graphing, I can simply put these in my calculator and find the intersection point. All right, so for y1, I'm going to put in my first equation, negative 4 fifths x. So negative 4 divided by 5 is negative 4 fifths x, and then plus 12 fifths. So t plus 12 divided by 5. And then my second equation, I'm going to put in negative 2 thirds x. Negative 2 divided by 3 x plus 8 divided by 3. So I'm going to hit graph. And then I want to find the intersection point. So it looks like in here somewhere these are um, intersecting. It's kind of hard to see with this graph, but you can do a couple different things. You could go to your table of values, or you can do second trace. And if I come here to where I want to find the intersection point, I'm going to click on 5. Now it says first curve. So you can see it's blinking right here. I have to go to the left of where I think the intersection point is. So I'm going to go up here somewhere far enough to I know for sure I'm to the left of that. 
and then it says second curve. That means you have to scroll all the way down here past where you think the intersection point is. And when I get safely past the intersection point, I hit enter twice, and it tells me the intersection is at negative 2, 4. All right, so negative 2, 4. So that was the intersection point. So that's how you do it if you want to do it with graphing. All right, write a new system of equations. First, multiply the second equation in part A by negative 2. All right, so now we're going to do it using elimination. So we got these same equations here. So I've got the first equation is 4x plus 5y equals 12. And down here it wants me to multiply the second equation by negative 2. So if I multiply the second equation by negative 2, I get negative 4x and I get minus 6y, and I get negative 16. Then if I add those together, this will eliminate, which is what we want. So that's negative y, that equals negative 4. If I divide by negative 1, y equals 4. And once I find y, then I can plug it into either equation for y and find x. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we've got 2x plus 3 times y, y is 4, equals 8. So I've got 2x, and now I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides. 2x equals negative 4. Divide by 2, x is negative 2. So you can see that we solved by graphing, and we got negative 2, 4 for our x and our y. And when we did it with elimination, we also got y is 4 and x is negative 2. So it's the same thing as we got as graphing. So it just shows there's multiple ways to do systems of equations. And you'll figure out that sometimes one is easier for one than the other. All right, so let's see what this says. Write the new system of equations. First, multiply the second equation in part A by negative 2 and show the results. Okay, so I went through all of these steps instead of just doing this. So let's see what this says. Something x, so this would be negative 4x plus negative 6y, and that's going to equal negative 2 times 8 is negative 16. All right, next, add the results to the first equation in part A. So you can see that this right here is the same as the what I started with after I multiplied those the second equation by negative 2. All right, so when I eliminate this, I'm going to get negative y. And then 12 plus 16 is negative 4. And then I divided by negative 1, and y equals 4. All right, the last thing, um, oh, no, there's a couple more things. All right, so let's make a new system consisting of the new equation and the second one. So your new equation, they're calling it y equals 4. So y equals 4 is the solution um, to find y. So once you find y, you can plug that back into the second equation. So the solution of this new system is, again, if you plug 4 in here, you're going to get 12, subtract, get negative 4, divide, by 2 and you get negative 2. So negative 2 and 4. So again we get the exact same thing as we got before. It says why do you think the value chosen for k in part b is negative 2? So remember before this whole algebra jargon, all of this stuff, it says multiply by a constant, a non-zero constant k. So now it's asking why did we choose negative 2 for k. Well, we chose negative 2 for k because we knew if we did, we'd get negative 4x, and that would make this eliminate. So let's see how to answer this. So k is negative 2, k equals negative 2 is chosen so that 
The coefficients of x in the two equations are opposite. The third equation in terms, the third equation is in terms of just one variable. This tells you that you can use multiplication to transform an equation so that the coefficient of one of its variables is the same or the opposite of the coefficient of the same variable in the other equation in the system. All right, so that's just explaining why they chose K and why you um, would add instead of subtract in this case, because remember you can add or subtract. The fact that we added or multiplied by negative two, that was so that we could add these two equations together to use elimination. All right, that's all for task one. If you have questions, please let me know.